everyone, Facebook Live. And it was telling me earlier just to rotate my phone, which is rather annoying because your phone ends up, or the video ends up the wrong way. But anyway, I'm down here at the lake, um, usual spot. And I've spent, I would say, the last three hours uh, recording a video. And uh, I came down here to actually record part of the video. In the end, what was happening was I came down here yesterday to do the same. I recorded the first half of the video and the sky was completely blue and clear. Hi, Scott. How are you going? Great to see you here. I'm so pleased. So the first half of the video, the sky was perfectly clear and there was not a cloud in the sky. By the time I got down here this morning, it was grey and the sky was full of clouds and the lighting was so obviously different to yesterday's video that I just couldn't chop it up, I don't think. So I painfully, and I say painfully, I did my whole video today in chunks and I've just literally stood down here for the last three hours in front of a tripod because the conditions were actually pretty perfect. Now it's looking very blue, so I don't know by the time I piece that together the changes that's going to happen in that video with the uh, surrounds behind me, but uh, who knows, I might have to end up coming down here tomorrow, but hopefully it should be enough. Hopefully I've done enough. Now, for those of you that you know, toss up between scripted or unscripted. Uh, this this one coming out of uh, coming out of the ten for ten. Sorry, ten for ten and the black retreat. I really did decide to go ahead and script. So I have a scripted ad. Um, this is the first video ad that I've uh, filmed outside of the partnership. So. It needed a new refresh anyway. Uh, scripting has been good, I think, because it's given me a very clear pathway and I think it's really given me clear direction in the video ad. And it's I've cut out all the fluff because what happens is when I'm unscripted, even though I'm speaking from the heart and I do like to do that, sometimes in a video ad, I end up going and drifting off into some direction and I have no clue how to get back. And so that can be the biggest challenge when you're unscripted. Hi, Mike. Hi, Claudia. This is funny. I've got my glasses. <laughs> I know you're going to have a laugh, right? They're ready to go. Is that you, Claudia? Hi, Trish. Yes. I might just keep them on my head, right? So uh, scripted versus unscripted is always a big question, always a discussion, always something that people are asking when it comes to creating your ads. Yes, Claudia, I have my glasses on. <laughs> LOL. <laughs> this is funny, all three of you are on here, Scott, Mike and uh, Claudia. So yes, I've got my glasses on. So you'll be very proud. I've actually finished a video ad three pages and I didn't expect to do that but when I got down here the conditions were so vastly different from yesterday that it required me to re-record the whole thing so it's done I'll piece it together and see how it comes out uh, but back to this scripted versus unscripted I love unscripted in respect to it comes from the heart and it looks really really natural and you you muck up and you stuff up but it looks very authentic and very real and um, I do like unscripted however the problem is with unscripted is I tend to go off on a bit of a tangent and then I, I'm thinking to myself how the hell am I going to get back to there I just have no idea how to bridge it then to get back and you find yourself doubling up on information and stuff your story your story ends up getting bigger than what it should do and I think the story needs to be contained. The problems that we talk about, the implications of those problems need to be contained as well. And you need to provide more value in that uh, video ad. So Scott, you're right, scripted or unscripted will always be the question. And I think it comes back down to what are you more comfortable with and what's gonna be easier for you to, uh, in the moment, to be able to do the scripted has taken me ages that's the difference scripted has taken me i reckon about a week 
to go over, but not a week fully, but just, you know, a few hours a day to go over the script, to, uh, you know, regurgi remember, regurgitate, remember, regurgitate. This is what you have to do because you've got to re remember the, the, the script. And then it's taken, you know, two full afternoons to come down here and, and get something done. And um, uh, unscripted for me, I can literally bullet point and then I can go with that and I can be done in an afternoon. However, like I said, I could be talking, going off and talking about all sorts of different things and that can be the struggle sometimes. You just don't know how to get back. So um, I'm, I'm a fan for both, right? I, I'm really truly a fan for, for both ways. I think in the early days it might help to be scripted when you're a new member, when you're first coming on board. In my first days, the SFM days, it was scripted and uh, they were the best performing ads from the beginning. So that's interesting too. Um, but as I got better with video, when you get practice with the 90 day journey and when you start to do your Facebook lives, you start to get better on video and you get more comfortable and more confident to then start to put your video ads through uh, unscripted. Uh, I love going off on a tangent. <laughs> Claudia says I confuse people. <laughs> I didn't think that. <laughs> That's so funny. You're like me, Mike. You can start going off on a tangent, that squirrel or that squirrel, or be distracted and then you're off. And then like me, you just don't know how to come back. And so that can be a bit of an issue. Um, so, yeah, it's been, it's been really perfect conditions. So I've just got to piece this together and fingers crossed, you know, there's not too much disparity. But by the time I started here, uh, arrived here to the time that I finished, because it was like three hours in between and cars have come and gone. People have come and gone. Dogs, dog walkers have come and gone. And I got to a point where I didn't even care anymore. It was like I just needed to knock this thing out, get it done and uh, I had big trucks and workers, electricity workers here as well. Uh, all very curious. It's funny, when you set up a tripod and you've got your mic set up and everything, um, the curiosity, and sometimes you want privacy and you want to be left alone, but yet, because you're set up in such a manner, people, it creates curiosity, and so people will actually slow right down in front of the camera, even though they, they might not even know that I could be filming out that way, but it just does attract curiosity and it attracts people um, so the conditions behind me are just beautiful and um, I'll just share that with you uh, the birds have been washing themselves all afternoon so I've had that going on in the background but the water looks like glass as you can see behind me no wind no flies perfect conditions perfect for uh, autumn because this is our autumn month uh, as we head into summer and uh, Sean uh, good to see that you're joining here uh, and watching as well. Scott, yes, kaboom, for sure. Done, right? So now it's piecing it together, doing the right edit and sticking it up and putting it into AdWords, getting the AdWords campaigns going, making sure the sales funnel is, is right because I haven't really visited that since leaving for the Dominican. So I need to revisit that, but I've got a mastermind call coming up soon uh, with some mastermind members who are on this call and we're going to be going through setting up a sales funnel. I just want to make sure that everything's right and, and good. And so that's my share, everyone. Claudia, great to see you here. Um, and uh, look forward to uh, catching up with you all. Low battery. So bye, everyone. Bye.